spotted lanternflies, an invasive species, is taking residence in Virginia. They pose a threat to businesses like vineyards and wineries. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug has details on what this could mean for businesses moving forward. Spotted lanternflies can't hurt humans physically. I'm surrounded by their actual targets right now. Local vineyards and wineries already fearing the impacts this invasive species could have on their livelihoods. Spotted lanternflies making their way across Virginia. That would pretty much wipe our entire vineyard out. Anthony Stone, vineyard manager at James River Cellars, says if the invasive species gets to the Richmond area, it would be devastating for his business and the Virginia wine industry as a whole. It could mean a new career for me. It's going to reduce the yield of the amount of grapes that those vines can actually produce. David Giannino with the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services warning the community to look out for the species. And unlike snakes or fire ants, not to be afraid to take matters into your own hands. Stomping it, squashing it, or scraping it. These hitchhikers travel quickly. Giannino says to keep an eye out for them in all their different life stages. It can get onto products. It can hop onto your car. It get moved around as you're driving around through the state. Right now, Giannino's team focusing on minimizing spread, limiting transportation outside of already infested areas. We do have a, a quarantine here in Virginia, so anybody that would be leaving that quarantine zone and going to a non-quarantine zone. They have to obtain a permit. It just reproduces like crazy. The Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services tells me quarantine maps will be expanding extensively in July as the insects continue to spread. We will continue to keep you updated at WRIC.com. In Hanover, Sierra Krug, 8 News.